Find a good place to sit. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And then the next one, and then the next. If you find that you've dropped it, okay, we'll come right back as soon as you can. Forgot to give the first meditation instructions, turn off your phone. <laughs> okay. We're focusing on the breath because we know we need to train the mind. As the Buddha said, the true happiness comes from having a trained mind, because otherwise you can have all kinds of other pleasures in life. But if the mind can't control itself, then it uses those pleasures to destroy itself. You gain things and you do unskillful things with them. You gain wealth, you do unskillful things with the wealth. You gain status, you do unskillful things with the status. That's what it's like to have an untrained mind. No matter how good your fortune, it can turn into misfortune very easily. But with a trained mind, you can live in any circumstances and you're okay. You're perfectly fine. Because you realize the source for your true happiness lies inside, and you don't have to depend on things outside. So when things outside are good, that's fine. When they're not good, that's fine too. That's the advantage of having a trained mind. So this is why we want to learn how to keep the mind on one topic, because that's an important part of the training. Because there are all sorts of other things that could pull you away. You get attracted to this sight or that sound, this idea, that idea. And it can pull you away from your center and can pull you away from your true happiness very easily. So the first thing you've got to train is get training is how to stay right here and how to protect your staying right here so it doesn't wander off. And then when you've got the mind under control, then when the time comes when you have to think, then you can think. When you don't have to think, you can put it back in its safe place like this. It's like having a knife. When the time comes to cut things, you take it out of its scabbard, you take it out of the sheath, you cut. And then you bathe it with oil, you sharpen it, and then you put it back in the scabbard again. Put it back in the sheath again. That way the next time you really need to cut through something, it's right there and it's sharp. But if you just keep using the knife, cutting, 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 don't take care of it, after a while it gets dull. And no matter how much strength you use, you just can't cut through things. This is one of the reasons why we have so many problems in life, is we don't keep our mind sharp. We don't keep it in good shape. And as a result, when really big problems come up, it's like taking a, the back side of a knife, trying to use it to cut something. It just doesn't go through at all. So here we are training the mind how to stay sharp and how to stay on focus, on target. Whatever needs to be thought about, you think about it. Whatever doesn't need to be thought about, you can drop it. That way you get a lot more use out of the mind. And you begin to see that what the Buddha was right, that it's in training the mind that true happiness is found. To try to work on this basic exercise. And you'll find that other trainings and other strengths of the mind will develop on top of that. 